Today we are in Warnemunde, Germany. This is up on the northern coast, the Baltic coast of Germany. It's a great stop and you're going to see if you're coming by cruise ship, you will find that they will build this as a stop for Berlin. And you can get to Berlin. It's a two hour train ride. I'm not going to suggest that that's the best use of your time. And that's just honest. Vernamunda is a darling town all by itself. So we come here pretty frequently. And we've come to love our time here. You're watching Will Child Life with Jonathan and Jennifer. And we hope you'll stay till the very end to watch for some specific tips and tricks about managing the port of Vernamunda if you're arriving by cruise ship. So we think this is a great town. Get off the boat, go through the terminal, turn right. You're gonna walk down sort of a, a strand area and you're gonna go through a carnival park, which is really fun. You'll get to the Deutsche Bahn main station for Vandermunde. And that too is an option for you. You can take a train or a ferry to Rostock. But if you stay in Varnamunda, there's a couple of things we would suggest that you do. First, just walk around. The architecture here is really traditional Northern German, really cute. And you'll enjoy the shops, you'll enjoy cafes. There is a little bit of a trick to getting just the right bratwurst. And we're gonna tell you about that too. One of our former exchange students, Evie, and her husband, Jürgen, and their two children, met us in Varnamunda and let us experience the city like locals would. What they told us about brats is you don't have to go to a restaurant to get the best ones. Feel free, look for a street side grill or one of the little uh, shops on the side of the road. They have some of the best brats and you're looking for specific varieties. We tend to prefer this little shop right on the way to the Kirkstrasse is one of our favorites. Thüringer Rostbratwurst. It's thick, it's thick, long. It's the meat in the sausage, the mustard, the bread, the total package. And sauerkraut. Thüringer Rostbratwurst. Oder einfach sagen Bratwurst. A mustard. If you're walking down the main street, the Kirkstrasse, you're going to come to the cathedral in the middle of town. It's a lovely square, lots to do there as far as just sitting and enjoying yourself or doing a little shopping or, or stopping at a cafe. So I wouldn't come to Germany and not get a beer. I ask for a Weiss beer, which is a wheat beer, and I'm asked, do I want it alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Do I want it dark? Do I want it sparkling? Do I want it natural? So many options, can't beat that. Varnemunde is also a beach town and don't miss the beach. Even in the rain, the beach is kind of fun. So I went swimming, there's some tides here and there's some waves here. So maybe not kid friendly beaches, but they're great for playing around and sitting in the sand. One of the best parts about the beach though is you aren't sitting in the sand. They have these basket woven beach lounge seats. They're not really lounge chairs. They're more like beach baskets, if you will. The guy who invented them, invented them here in Varnemunde, and he invented them for the purpose of trying to protect people from the sun and the rain. They work beautifully for that. They fold up into this neat box and you'll see them lined out on the beach in beautiful, perfectly Germanic rows. But then during the day, during the sun, people will come out, they rent those, you unlock them, and you've got this really wonderful off the sand beach bench. The first time we ever came to Varnemunde, we were taking a walk down these darling streets. It was a fairly quiet day and it started to rain. We found sanctuary in the church, which was really a beautiful place and is absolutely worth a visit. If you have the chance to get inside, you want to do that. It has an exceptional interior and it has a nod to Varnemunde's maritime history. We huddled into this pub that we found at the bottom of a windmill. It was just really an iconic building and looked like fun. Got inside and ended up staying for a couple of hours trying to outweigh the rain. 
and played cards and drank beers and just had a great time. Every time we have come back, we have tried to find that same pub and we could never find it. Well, today we went on a quest to find the windmill pub. We could even see it from the ship. I'm telling you, we knew it had to be here. We charted our course. We sort of got an idea of the topography from the ship and went looking for our windmill pub. We found the windmill that we saw from the ship. Upon examining it, we realized, no, this is an apartment building. We thought we, this wasn't the spot. And we walked down the street a little bit. We stopped, looked at our phone, and we found pictures from 2017. We realized that in fact was it. Then we met a woman on the street who confirmed the story that almost that amount of time, five years, and they had changed the downstairs from a little restaurant to an apartment. Things change. Okay, so thanks for waiting around. Now for some quick tips and tricks about managing the port of Fornamunda. Coming off the ship in Fornamunda, you're going to be right at the heart of the downtown area. You're just going to get off the ship, go through whatever terminal you need to, and turn right. You'll head straight down there, follow the signs, and you're going to hit city center. In Europe, free restrooms are kind of a big deal. So in the terminal building, you've got free restrooms clearly marked. Otherwise, you're going to need to bring anywhere from 50 cents to a euro for a public restroom in Germany. Don't be confused, you're in Warnemunde, but it's going to say Rostock Port on all of the terminal buildings. It's okay, you're not in Rostock, you're in Warnemunde. There are at least two berths at the Warnemunde cruise port terminal, so one is just a little bit closer to town than the other, but you're going to do the same thing at both berths. If you have gotten off the ship and you've kept the seaside to your right and walked down, you're going to eventually take a left where it says city center or centrum. You're going to come down towards the carnival area and the big deal now is you just have to get across the train tracks. There's only one way to do it, be safe. At the base of the ferris wheel is the bridge across the train tracks and this is where you need to cross safely. This is it. And remember what I said, restrooms in Europe cost money. If you find a free one, take advantage of it. So anytime you see a free one, that means time to go. Follow the businesses. You're gonna see bratwurst, currywurst, brotchen, crepes, all kinds of things, but follow the little shops and you're gonna head to the bridge that crosses the harbor. This takes you into the city. So this whole walk, including Potty Stop, is not more than five minutes. And once you're across the bridge, you've got souvenir shops, restaurants, hotels, everything you could need to occupy your time. There's lots of walking you can do in Vernamunda. You can walk to the right to get down to the seaside and there's beautiful, big, big beaches. You can rent a cabana, uh, go surfing, uh, swimming, but there's also just lots of cafes and shops and boutiques and fun little things. Just over the bridge across the harbor on your left is tourist information. Anything you need, get it there. The boardwalk, or the strong as they call it, is lined with benches perfect for people watching. Thanks for joining us in the port of Vernamunda. Make sure and catch us as we are also in Kiel.